so let us come back and see one more question 2016 17 basically uh, the question says it, the question will be given like this write the products or the expected products when butan 2 all reacts with these two reagents so now we, uh, earlier what did we do we uh, they've given us the order right so now this sort of questions may be basically they are going to ask you write the products with the reagents they've given you the reagents you have to write the products so what example they've given me Butan to all reacts with these two. First important, as soon as a reagent is given to you, you should very well know whether it is an oxidizing agent, whether it is reducing agent, whether it is hydrogenating agent or whether it is dehydrating agent or dehydrogenation agent. So the many different agents, reagents, which you should remember. Right, let us come back. So before solving this question, let me give you some clues so that it's easy. I have listed out, just observe carefully, I have listed out here all the oxidizing agents for you right now observe carefully this is your pyridinium chlorochromate which is used for primary alcohols oxidizing agent here you have chromium trioxide with pyridine whenever you see chromium peroxide with pyridine means that's called collins reagent what is this collins reagent basically this is also all our oxidizing 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 all our oxidizing agents right now this is collins reagent which is going to which helps us to oxidize primary alcohols i'll show that now if you see kno 4 h plus again oxidizing agent there is one more reagent called jones reagent that is your jones reagent is chromium trioxide in the presence of acidic medium this can be given like this also cro3 by h plus not a problem h plus means your sulfuric acid medium so you have collins reagent oxidizing agent jones reagent oxidizing agent kno 4 in acidic medium are potassium dichromate acidic medium so let's i just listed out all the oxidizing agents here again you have all the oxidizing agents then let us see what is the role of oxidizing agent basically it has to either add oxygen or remove hydrogen correct now observe whenever you find such reagents just see you have to take out oxygen uh, you have to add oxygen or remove hydrogen now what am i going to do i'm going to take out this hydrogen i'm going to take out this hydrogen so what do i get i get a product like RCHO. Observe. Now, let me come to a conclusion. Whenever you have primary alcohol, right? Let me write primary alcohols on oxidation gives us aldehydes. Remember this. If you remember this, it's very easy right primary alcohols on the presence of all these oxidizing agents remove hydrogens and finally prepare an aldehyde done now what do i have here i have a secondary alcohol again i have all the oxidizing agents yes so same thing again you have to take out hydrogen this also hydrogen what am i left with i'll be getting r c o c h 3 right if you don't write just write r prime not a problem Again an oxidizing agent, I get RCOCH3. Again an oxidizing agent, RCOCH3. What is the conclusion now? Secondary alcohols on oxidation, they are going to give me ketones. Correct? So what did I say? Primary alcohols will give me aldehydes with all these oxidizing agents. Secondary alcohols will give me ketones. I have to remember this and go. So what do you do? You want to take your book and write or list out all these oxidizing agents and finally remember the clue. So primary will give me aldehydes. Secondary will give me ketones. Now let us solve this question. What do they give us? They've given us butan 2 all. So write the structure. 1, 2, 3, 4. But. So fill all the hydrogens. Hydrogens. So hydrogen. They said in the second position you have your uh, alcohol so uh, i picked up here second position okay so one two three this is your hydrogen now this is butan to all now what do they say they've introduced in the presence of cro3 now observe carefully where is your cro3 this is your cro3 cro3 is also called as jones reagent so always oxidizing agent in the presence of h plus it is understood once they give you right in the presence of h plus it is understood that you're going to do the oxidation reaction what do we study secondary alcohols will always give me ketones correct this is also secondary alcohol why it is secondary alcohol carbon with one hydrogen and two alkyl groups carbon with one hydrogen and two alkyl groups same secondary alcohol correct so we very well know in the presence of oxidizing agent this hydrogen and this hydrogen is removed so what are you left with ch3 ch 
your ketone group and CH3. Butanone, correct, two butanone. So, I ha didn't, I, didn't I prepare ketones from secondary alcohols? Let us come back and understand the question. When such question is given to you, you should basically have this mind mapping before you go for your exam. Primary alcohols in the presence of oxidizing agents will give me aldehydes. Secondary alcohols in the presence of oxidizing agents will give me ketones. So remember that and go and see which is given if primary is given you will prepare an aldehyde. If now because secondary is given to me I have prepared a ketone. This is your product and name it. Butan to un. Done. Yes, I'm done with the first reaction. So uh, let us uh, go and do the second uh, reaction now. Yes. Now I've erased all the oxidizing agents. Let me write the second reaction. What did we say now? They said butan two all is reacting with SOCl2. Hope you remember SOCl2. What is SOCl2? Question two. One, two, three, four. This is your OH butan. All. CH3 your H yes yeah your H correct now this is going to react with which one SOCl2 what is SOCl2 SOCl2 is called thionyl chloride we very well studied in the first uh, chapter hello alkyl thionyl chloride is the only reagent which will sub provide or prepare the purest form of alkyl halides why i also gave you a reasoning question please go through the video in thionyl chloride what happens as soon as you see this only thing you have to replace this nucleophile with this nothing to do this one is going to get replaced with this what do you get your oh nucleophile is going to replace your Cl is replaced by Cl and your CH3. Now, what are the byproducts? As I said earlier, sulfur dioxide gas is evolved out. Correct. That is why I said it is economical. The, the vapor, whatever are uh, the resultant byproducts, they vaporize, and the leftover product is the purest form. Sulfur dioxide gas has vaporized. Now, what else? I still have one chlorine has replaced. Sulfur dioxide has come out. I get HCl vapors. HCl vapors. So, what are you getting now? You are getting your alkyl halide when you are introducing or when you are uh, using thionyl chloride. So, this is how you are going to do and just finish off both the reactions and name them and finish it up. Right? So, how do you name this compound? Now, this is your 2 chloro 1, 2, 3, 4. Right? Okay, so can I write this 2 chlorobutane? Yes, because it is all an alkyl group. So 2 chlorobutane. Done. So your uh, uh, question is complete.